Hello, this is Tony Hiller from RealClimateScience.com, setting the record straight about climate. This video is titled, Montana Glaciers Refusing to Cooperate. This is the scene in Glacier National Park, Montana, this afternoon. Deep snow on the ground from the winter, and fresh snow on top of it. Since the beginning of October, temperatures in Montana have been far below normal, as they have been in much of the United States. During March, the Washington Post Capital Weather Gang reported that Montana just endured one of the nation's most exceptional cold spells on record. They said the cold's intensity and duration was unlike anything seen in decades in the lower 48. During March, Elk Park, Montana reached 46 below zero, which was record cold for the month for the state. According to the United States Geological Survey, the relatively small alpine glaciers that cling to Montana mountainsides today are considered geologically new, having formed about 7,000 years ago. These glaciers grew substantially during the Little Ice Age that began around 1400 and reached their maximum size at the end of the Little Ice Age around the year 1850. So what this means is that there were no glaciers in Montana 7,000 years ago when carbon dioxide levels were very low. And the glaciers grew substantially during the Little Ice Age, which some climate scientists now say never happened. But after the year 1850, the glaciers in Montana started to melt very rapidly. According to the United States Geological Survey, the glaciers were retreating as much as 100 meters per year between 1917 and 1941. And they say that the rapid rate of retreat from 1917 to 1941 was due to the Pacific Decadal Oscillation, an ocean circulation pattern. The glaciers retreated a lot in Montana after the year 1913, as you can see in this animation I made from the USGS website. If they were retreating at 100 meters per year from 1917 to 1941, as the USGS said, that would correspond to several kilometers of retreat. In fact, the glaciers were retreating so fast that in 1923, experts predicted that glaciers would be gone in 25 years, by the year 1948. In 1948, the glaciers were still there, so scientists changed their prediction in 1952 to 50 years from then, which would have been the year 2002 the glaciers were supposed to be gone. Well, the glaciers were still there in 2002, so in 2009, scientists changed their prediction to ice-free by 2020, next year. Apparently, Glacier National Park had signs up saying that the glaciers were going to be gone by the year 2020, and they've been quietly taking them down. In fact, some people say that the glaciers in Glacier National Park have been growing for the past decade. I haven't found any way to confirm that, but it wouldn't be surprising given the cold, snowy winters they've been having there recently. So experts have changed their prediction again, and now they say they're going to be gone in the year 2044, which is almost a century later than their original forecast. So what's going on in Montana? According to NOAA, they've been warming very rapidly over the past century. We know from the United States Geological Survey that glaciers were melting very rapidly in Montana from 1917 to 1941, when NOAA said it was very cold. And now there are reports that glaciers are growing in Montana, when NOAA says it's very warm. Most scientists believe that ice melts when it's warm, and it freezes when it's cold. But in climate science, it seems to be the exact opposite. NOAA massively tampers with Montana temperature data, cooling the past by about 3 degrees. By tampering with the data, NOAA creates the appearance of a warming trend of about 3 degrees, which just happens to be the same amount as their cooling the past. Nature just doesn't seem to be cooperating with their ice-free Montana forecast. Despite all the incompetence and malfeasance I've exposed in this video, there will be comments appearing saying, you're just cherry-picking one small place on Earth, and 97% of experts disagree with you, and you've been totally debunked. It's just like the story of the Emperor's New Clothes. You get enough experts telling people that this is ice-free, and many of them will actually believe it. We could have glaciers plowing through downtown Chicago, and many climate alarmists would still believe it was due to global warming. Visit Toto on the web at realclimatescience.com. He's been pulling back the curtain on junk science for a long time.